Hey, hey, you guys. Welcome back to... I'm just not going to say that. <laughs> These vlogs. Because God knows where I'll be. I want to give Vlogmas a try. Here's the thing. I work during the week. And that's... I mean... I can't even imagine getting a camera out at 5 o'clock in the morning and having time to even talk to anybody else, let alone combine that with, you know, we're still living in a hotel. So, like, trying to do that and my normal daily routine of running the kids all the way here to the bus stop and all that. So, I'm going to do my best. And I figured right now I'm waiting on Chris to get back. The house is actually pretty quiet for a minute. So, Figured I'd take you guys around the house. So what we did today, we got up, we went and bought a couple things at Kroger that we needed to get. And then we went to Home Depot and got stuff to mount pictures and shelving and stuff like that up. We haven't gotten a chance to do that yet though because Chris finished painting the table. So these were brown um, and obviously upstairs I'm going like all white. I've got a little heater plugged in here because we can't live here yet because we have no gas. Uh, hopefully KUB will be out next week. Oh my God, guys, I'm going to show you the hot mess that is my house. This will be a, a good update for you guys, but yeah, that's all we're doing today is just trying to get some stuff done. Chris finished painting and when he gets back, we're going to mount some stuff up, some pictures and clocks and stuff like that. But, ah, uh, I actually got to film today. I had, had planned on waiting to set up the filming room until, um, you know, like they had finished fixing the handprints that are on the wall and the baseboards in there. And then I thought, you know what? I'll leave that for them. Let me just go ahead and put everything out the way I think I want it and just kind of set up at least a little corner to film in. So I did that today. I filmed two videos for you guys, plus a get ready with me. So three videos. And then I had um, got these extensions. So I did a video for the company as well, which that video, I also did like, you know, a little something, something for us too, so that you guys could see them. But I think they're a really good match for my hair and they're super comfortable. Yeah. And um, anyways, um, so yeah, let me take you around the house. Please excuse our mess, the puppy pads and the puppy and the leaves that keep coming in because we keep going in and out. And I mean, like nothing's completely clean. I can stop now, right? Like you guys understand. Okay, here we go. Here's my mess. Okay, so here's hoping my camera doesn't die and it's not too jumpy because I didn't grab my Osmo either. I had to sit out um, blankets and pillows for my father because he has moved into his camper. So he's needing some of that stuff. Hopefully he'll get more because we've got a lot of his stuff. That half moon table is his, but I think for now, I don't think he'll be able to use it in the camper. So I think I'm going to do, we had a lot of cherry furniture before, which doesn't really jam with me now that I've gotten to redo the house. So I think the cherry furniture I'm going to put downstairs because I don't think it'll really bother that aesthetic too bad. It's very gray, white, silver up here with, you know, hints of craziness. But yeah, we just recently got that dog bed from Bargain Hunt for $20 for Little Miss Roxy and she loves it. Um, obviously this little kid table won't stay out here. It's kind of been a catch-all and Sam's been playing on it. Um, big old mess over there with the little ottoman. I think I'm just going to recover very you know, shabbily with just like a staple gun and some fabric. I don't know. I don't really know what to do with it. Um, but a lot of the pictures will go on this big giant wall here. And then we've got a little bit, a lip of a wall down there, but right here, I've got this organizer thing that has hooks that will go there it has hooks down here and then boxes up here for the kids to put their stuff. So that will hang there. Um, but as far as the furniture goes, I hope you guys like it. We got a pretty decent deal on it. And I think Chris did a great job with the table and then ignore the dining chair in here. But we did put this shelving unit together and mount it against the wall so it's nice and sturdy. So it's got all of our nicky neckies on it, which will move around a million times before they get a settle home. But here's the mess I'm talking about. Well, more of the mess. Um, the countertops. And well, okay, the issue with the stove is we have baseboard running beside the stove, which really should not be there. It's part of the issue, but I think also this countertop may need to be trimmed down just slightly. Um, but anyways, they're coming Tuesday to take care of that as well as my fridge that's sitting down in the middle of the kitchen. They're going to, okay, so up here is 36 inches. Like we've got 36 inches that we need for the fridge to set in. At the bottom here, not 36 inches, plus the countertop doesn't give us 36 inches. There's more of a lip on this one than there is on this one. So Tuesday, they're gonna come pull that and possibly the one behind me off. 
um, trim those down while that's going on. This countertop moves over because that's a big spacer right there anyways. Cabinet. Cabinet moves over because that's a big spacer. Um, we are, my husband's going to build us a new kitchen table. We're going to do like the farm style house table with the bench seating that pushes in and then uh, a couple chairs at the end or maybe on this side just depending on what fits best in here. Um, the old windows look like poo but I feel like once I get curtains up you'll be able to see that even less. And then that's just kind of the catch-all area for everything. So please don't look at that right now. Um, some really cute pieces I have in here. This I think I got, oh, it probably has the tag on the back still. So bargain hunt, $7. Um, what I'm thinking, because it matches those frames really well, and I wanted to do a little ode to our doggies that we lost and then have a little kitty area somewhere else for Debbie. But I thought put that up here on this wall and then those two frames either right above it or right below it. And that would be kind of like, you know, I don't know. I just want to do something to commemorate them. And then we're going to do like a clock situation here that I have in there. But yeah, hot, hot mess. Um, kids rooms in my bedroom pretty much still the same. I did do a little bit in the bathroom. Not too much. We're still waiting on them to hang the mirror, fix that horrible, horrible corner. There's like, they had to pull the cabinet from the wall because they realized, duh, you can't open the drawers if it's right against the wall and the uh, trim works here. So they left all that gunk on the side there. So I, ha I assume I'm going to clean it because they haven't come back to fix that yet. But anyways, I did pull out the shower curtains, hooks are in that basket. And I did a cute little like, towel thing. I got these on Black Friday or Thanksgiving, whatever, for $1.60 at Walmart. And then I think it was $1.60 for all the washcloths as well. So huge, awesome deal with that. Still not done, but it's looking almost like a home. Um, and then, like I said, not much going on in our bedroom, but I did pull out the bedding that we're going to use. So obviously the bedroom's pink. We've got some pink accents. And then this is our bedding. So I've got this really amazing pillow that I absolutely love. We've got, this is my bedding. Isn't it so pretty? It's all tufted and beautiful. And then those are my sheets. I love the texture on the top of those. And then we've got a little throw down here too, I almost forgot about. So that'll be super fun. Downstairs again, hot, hot mess. And we're still dealing with the fact that the light switch, you have to walk down here and around. So we're gonna need a little lamp or well, I guess we'll just leave that lamp on whenever we're home. But like I said, most of the cherry furniture will probably go down here. So this was a U-shaped couch. But we had to separate it because it just did not fit anywhere. Um, but we are going to mount the TV there. And the TV will be able to tilt this way or that way, depending on whatever we need it to do. And that's what I was thinking. If the half moon table fits right there, that would be nice. Because then it could hold all of their little gaming systems and stuff. But yeah, not much going on here. I would say the fun stuff, big hot mess in there, is going on in here. So we filmed today. So there's a few things out, little sneaky peekies. But um, this is this was the corner that I used and basically my body like hid the white box back there. I thought it looked pretty cute. And then when I did the try on session, I did it kind of like right here after removing my little stool. But yeah, again, it's a big old mess. I actually bought a slip cover for this that's coming, so that'll look a lot better. And then all this stuff needs to get hung up. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. This one short and sweet, and just go ahead and say goodbye to you guys now. Hopefully, this whole vlogmas thing works out. If not, I'm glad I got to do this first one and this little update with you guys. So, <sighs> almost home. Hopefully, just one more week. But until then, guys, I'll see you soon. Bye.